As early as 8 a.m., a battery of journalists had already thronged Gaddafi National Mosque, where the election for the new leadership of Uganda Journalists Association had been scheduled to take place. But hardly before the press corps would cast their ballot, then the election was thrown into turmoil. Some journalists in possession of Uja cards were denied access after their names appeared to be missing on the voters' registers. Others were against the venue where the election was to be held. No, I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. I am a candidate myself, standing for a vice president of Uja. But I am still out. I have whatever it takes. I want to vote, and I've come here to vote, my dear. I'm not here to stand outside. God, God. Never, ne never put such elections in a holy place. No. When a semblance of sanity prevailed, some journalists were allowed to go to the venue of the election. Some candidates were also given an opportunity to talk to the voters. I know that I can push the agenda of media into the forum of parliament. However, some candidates pulled out of the election, calling the entire process a sham. No content can come from an exercise like this. Look at him. What is he doing? Can you identify yourself? This exercise has no legal document guiding it. We cannot be voting in the dark, can we? When voting kicked off, some aggrieved parties raised concerns about the suspect dominance of Uganda Broadcasting Corporation. What we are doing here, we are electing a UBC committee and a, a Uja committee shall be elected at a later day. But today we are electing a UBC committee. Of UBC bringing uh, more than 400 voters to come and vote and uh, other people are not able to take over this position. When the results were announced, Robert Kagolo from UBC emerged as president. Juliet Naiga from the same media house was elected vice president, Geoffrey Kateriga as secretary general, and Evelyn Nakayongo from UBC as the treasurer. Those challenging the election have promised to take legal action. We are going to be determined and put things right. And how are we going to do this? We are going to courts of law. We are going to courts of law to challenge this kind of nasty election. They were given 150 million, but we don't see the accountability of 150 million. Whom Kagolo was the treasurer of the association. Up to now, we don't have the report. Earlier on, other contestants like Simon Kagwanjala, Martin Busuru and Sereko, and Richard Kaira withdrew from the election, citing irregularities. Barely a month ago, attempts to hold elections for the journalist's body was riddled with chaos. Police had to use pepper spray to disperse the errant scribes. Suhail Mugabe, NTV, Weekend Edition. <laughs>